y'all what's good beautiful people it's your girl tay and i'm here yet again with another update video so definitely make sure you guys smash that like button comment down below subscribe plus push your post notification bell button so that way anytime i upload a video you will be notified all right you guys let's jump right into it okay i'll talk to you in just a second um a lot of interesting things a lot of interesting things has been showing up uh popping up some great some not so great just to say the least um one of the things that i have noticed is there is a lot of how can i say this um I don't know if it's because of the situation that happened just recently, you know, with the Texas school situation, or uh, I, I really don't know, but I'm noticing an, an abundance of new threats at our children's school. So I wanted to jump on here and talk to you guys about it. So we have the Mater, and I don't know if I'm saying this right, so forgive me if I'm not. The Mater Day High School in Santa Ana, which is in California, closed this week due to a credible threat, okay? School officials said in a statement to parents and students on Tuesday um, that they learned of a credible threat to the campus and contacted the police. Safety and sweep protocols were implemented. The statement reads, we acknowledge the alarming nature of this message. However, we at Mater Day take all threats made to the school seriously. The statement adds the decision to close the campus and cancel all campus activities until June the 3rd. This was made in consultation with the Roman Catholic Diocese, I don't know what that says, D I O C E S E, D O C S or D O C S or of Orange. And as the Santa Ana Police Department continues its investigation, the department told KTLA that the investigation is ongoing and there is no threat to students or to the school as a whole. Rather, it appears to be involving a former employee. According to the Santa Ana Police, there is no threat of a uh, shooting, the department added. Okay, the school said it's working to develop online education options for the last days of instruction for the academic year and for the next week's final schedule. Parents and students will be notified of these plans within the next day. We are committed to providing timely updates and appreciate the parents and and students understanding as we work diligently to ensure the safety of our community at all times the school said so I told y'all I feel like everything that is going on right now is making everybody crazy I don't know if that situation with Texas just made all of the crazy birds just decide okay well if he can do it well you know what I can do it too I, I don't understand what, what's going on because there's a lot more than that that's been happening as it pertains to school threats so y'all already know how I feel I'm not sending that my kids ain't going to school I don't give but we're not going because I can't trust I can't trust you I can't trust you. I don't trust the school anyway. You know what I mean? I know. I remember as a high school student that my school, there was no gates at all. My high school, first of all, I went to a high school in a, we'll say, a pretty wealthy neighborhood, okay? So I'm assuming that they thought that because the children were a little bit more well off, I wasn't, I was bust there, but they thought that because the children were a little bit more well off that they couldn't be dangerous to others or people in that neighborhood couldn't be dangerous. But I know that we could leave and come as we please when we got to senior year. Like I said, there were no gates. There was no type of safety protocols implemented to protect the school, if that makes any sense, versus the high school that I went to when I first started the ninth grade um, was a little bit more local to where I lived and they were so overly protective that you couldn't even wear certain colors to school. They wanted to make sure that anything that you wore was not going to grab the attention of the little thugs that could be waiting outside school, okay? So, it just goes to show um, how different things are. No, actually how not so different things are, okay? Um, then we have two more Southern California schools affected by threats. This was posted by NBC Los Angeles about seven hours ago. It says two schools in Southern California are dealing with the threats made to their campuses Wednesday morning. Today, I'm assuming, assuming, happy hump day, you guys, forcing one to close and the other to increase security for students just days before graduation. The person who threatened Sierra Vista High School in Baldwin Park, according to Baldwin Park Police, is a juvenile student who attends the school. 
Police say the threats began last week when staff received an email regarding explosive devices on campus. Nothing was found at the school, but more threats from the same subject arrived soon after on Tuesday. The FBI was called out to assist with the investigation, and they were able to track down the student that was responsible. The student was later arrested. Sierra Vista will also have increased police patrols out of an abundance of caution. I agree. And then it goes on to talk about the school that I just spoke about, which is the Mater Day High School in Santa Ana. On the other hand, says they had closed its campus through Friday due to a credible threat, according to school officials. It's believed the threat is from a former school employee, but investigators won't share why they believe the employee is the source. It's also not yet known how or when the threat was received. Santa Ana police confirmed that officers were on campus on Tuesday and determined there was no threat of a shooting. Okay, The Roman Catholic uh, Archbishop diocese that's what it is uh archdiocese of Ca orange uh chose to shut down the school as the investigation continues so like i said we have i i believe that this is only going to get worse i'm actually pretty glad i know that a lot of parents especially those that are working and not working from home are not going to be happy about the fact that children are going to be home again because we are yet in that time of year summer vacation where there is no school depending on your um, school district until August or for some schools it'll be in September so I know that that's going to be a little bit more what's the word stressful on many levels the fact that there's more food that you're going to have to buy because they're not going to be getting that breakfast and lunch from the school anymore so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm I, I know y'all are going to feel it y'all know I'm going to feel that but at the same time considering everything that's going on i could care less about having to go to the store and picking up a couple of extra Lunchables versus having my children be in school and not knowing whether or not they're going to come home. Because like I said, there needs to be an increased presence of police officers, security guards, armed security guards, not security guards with flashlights and sticks, but armed security guards to protect our children. And it doesn't seem like they're going to be doing any of that anytime soon. It's really, really unfortunate that we need this even at uh, an elementary school. But again, I would rather there be an increased uh, presence of some type of security presence um, to protect our babies. Moving on from that, hold on, there was something else. Okay, so this actually came out, it was posted by Politico about 12 hours ago. It says vaccine injury compensation programs overwhelmed as congressional reform languages, okay? A pair of federal programs compensating people who suffer injuries from vaccines and pandemic treatments are now facing so many claims that thousands of people may not receive payments for their injuries anytime soon. I didn't even know that this was created. The first program meant for standard vaccines such as measles and polio has too little staff to handle the number of reported injuries and thousands of patients are waiting years for their cases to be heard. A second program designed for vaccines and other treatments created or used during the pandemics has been unsustainable, uh, has seen unsustainable growth. Between 2010 and 2020, the Countermeasure Injury Compensation Program, I'm assuming that's what it is, if you want to look it up, received 500 complaints. I'm pretty sure it's more than that. Maybe those are the only ones that they've been able to get to. Uh, in the two years since the pandemic, it has received over, and like I said, 8,000 complaints. More than 5,000 of those uh, directly related to the pandemic or uh, the pandemic-related vaccines, we will say, with injuries ranging from a sore shoulder to, unfortunately, unfortunately DATH, according to the Health Resources and Services Administration. An additional 3,000 complaints related to everything from DRUGS, I don't know if I can say it, but... Um, and devices to the failure of hospital staff to limit infection spread have also been filed. Yet the pandemic fund has paid zero claims, in part because officials are waiting for people to submit detailed medical records and documentation to back up their allegations. Okay, Compensation, this is somebody speaking now, compensation determinations are made based on individual case reviews and the statute sets a very high standard that a claimant must meet to be eligible for a compensation. This is coming from HRSA spokesperson David Bowman. Okay, Should the pandemic related shots become routine once the pandemic ends, alleged injuries would eventually be handled by the already overburdened standard vaccine injury compensation program. Patient advocates, attorneys, and the pharmaceutical industry fear that without drastic reform, that program could collapse. It's probably collapsing already and they're just trying to play it down. But at any rate, you guys, um, 
yeah, there's a lot going on in the world, okay? There's there's a lot going on in the world. I can't even begin to get into all of that. I'm hoping that we get some brighter days in the near future, but it's so much going on right now. Like I said, the crazy birds are coming out, you guys. Just be vigilant. My ladies especially be vigilant because we are uh, seemingly very uh, easy prey to a certain type of person, okay? Hold on one moment, though. Sorry about that, you guys. You know, I'm multitasking right now. But yeah, just like I was saying, women, we are seemingly very easy targets. Women with children, people are on the lookout. I've told you guys in several videos before. Just be very vigilant of your surroundings. I don't care how old you are. You need to make sure that you are protected at all costs. Get you some mace, some pepper spray, something. Just make sure that you are able to protect yourself the best way that you know how in any situation. Be mindful. Try not to go anywhere alone. Don't send your children anywhere alone. I know this is stuff that a lot of you guys probably are already know but I feel like a lot of people are not talking about it as much as they should there is a lot going on in the world things are getting crazier and crazier and crazier and unfortunately I think that that is only going to get worse so my job or at least the job that I have des uh, designated to myself is just to make sure that I am getting the word out for you to be not spread mass fear and panic that's what I'm, that's not what I'm trying to do I'm just telling you guys to be careful I would tell you guys this even if we weren't in the midst of a pandemic even if all of the horrible things that has happened recently hadn't happened we as women need to be protected we need to protect ourselves and we need to protect our families okay so do what you can in that era and we are going to move on from that so emergency snap maximum benefits i did not look at it today we're not going to go over the payout dates i did go over that in yesterday's video feel free to check that out just in case you missed it but i am going to give you the names as of today that has been uh, approved for emergency snap maximum benefits for the month of june okay so i am refreshing oh we've got a lot on here honey we got a lot but we're not doing no payout days today we'll do that tomorrow okay but as of today uh we have alabama arizona Colorado, Delaware, D.C., Georgia, Guam, Hawaii, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Michigan, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, and Wisconsin. All right, you guys. So as always, I hope this information was in some way helpful or useful to you guys in the least little bit. Do me a favor if you haven't already. Don't forget to smash that like button because it really does help to let you YouTube know that you like what I'm doing and you want me to stick around. Don't forget to drop some purple hearts down below. Let me know that you made it all the way to the end of the video. I want y'all to tell me what you think about this hairstyle. It ain't nothing spectacular. I don't even know why. Literally, as I was wrapping up my hair, I just had this thought to leave these little two locks out like as if I'm a freaking elf from the Lord of the Rings or some something. But anyways, I thought it was cute. So, y'all let me know what you think about that. And at any rate, uh, as always, I'm going to say, remember to live, love, and elevate. And I will definitely see you guys in the next video. Oh, one more thing before I get out of here. Y'all hear my son screaming, running around upstairs. But anyways, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my beauty and lifestyle channel. I will have the link for that down below. I have been getting it in with my Target and Walmart hauls. We're talking about everything, not just beauty and skincare. We're talking about household products products and everything in between okay so you definitely don't want to miss out on any of that but as always again now i'm going to say remember to live love and elevate and i'll definitely see you guys in the next video peace y'all